So what's going on in the Cincinnati real estate market now? Let's talk about that in December 2021 numbers right after this. Hi, I'm Rhonda with Comey and Shepherd Realtors, and let's dive right into those December numbers. We sold 1,944 units. That was down about 4% from the prior month, but almost exactly the same as December 2020. Our lowest price property was $12,000 and that was a one bedroom, one bath home in Price Hill. It was not really habitable, 960 square feet, and just, you know, they warned you, like if you're gonna go in, use caution. <laughs> so it was not in great shape. But this home started at 24,000, was on the market for two days, and ultimately sold for 12. Thousand. Our highest price property was a gorgeous three-story limestone home in Indian Hill built in, I want to say 2006, so not very old. It had a stocked pond. It had this old barn that was amazing. It sat on 5.9 acres. Impressive, like waterfall with a pool um, and it had this amazing brick and stone wine room where you could have dinner with wine pairings and like, it was it was pretty impressive um it also had an eight plus car garage now that's not something that we see every day and definitely for that car enthusiast a huge find uh, but this home actually was listed at 3.9 million, was on the market for nine days, and sold for 3.8. Moving along, our average sale did go down to 285, and that was down 2% from the prior month. Our days on market stayed right around 15, with that median being four, which says, if you're interested in something, you need to go out and see it quickly. Still, even in the cold, the last statistic is those properties that are currently available, which is 1,129. And that puts us at just a little bit over two weeks of inventory. That means this is gonna feel really reminiscent for those of you who tried to purchase last year between January and the end of March and you couldn't because <laughs> there was just nothing available. And the things you did find, there were just ridiculous amounts of showings, multiple offers. Yeah, we're still there or we are right back in that same place. And part of it is due to COVID. You know, it, it kind of came back hotter and heavier than we have ever seen in this area. And so a lot of people have been very sick, not wanting to show their home, not wanting to put their house on the market and have other people coming through it. And so it puts us at a place where very limited overlapping showings. Um, and again, just limited numbers of homes available. So, a lot of people, if they still live in their home, they're not hesitating to pull the trigger on an offer if they get one that they like. Um, I know myself, we <laughs> we missed out by minutes. Um, and so my clients are still looking for a property under 300, preferably a little lower than that, but um, they're cash and I can't find them anything that they like. Um, or that we can actually get. Beyond that, I think the other really important thing to understand about what's happening in our market right now is new construction. When you look at all of the new listings of 1,129 available for sale, about 30% of those are new construction listings, which means 
their ghost or paper listings and it's not even a house. So there could be multiple plans listed on the same property just because the builder is trying to find that buyer. So they're advertising, hey, we can build this or we can build this and here's the prices, you know, even all on the same lot. So that's, you know, 30% not actually being available puts us in a really tough spot. I mean, that means we probably have about a week and a half of inventory. Let me do the math real quick. A week and a half. The thing to note, if you find something that's new construction that you're good with and you're okay to wait six, eight, ten months to have that home actually something you can be something you can move into, new construction might be a great option for you. We are seeing a lot of builders, they've grabbed little bits of land here and there. There might be 21 home sites over here and 40 some over there and I did hear that um, Dries has something coming in near Elliott Farm which I think is going to be King Schools but it's going to be like Elliott Farm where it's another big planned unit development so you're going to have some patio homes you're going to have maybe some different price points in those single family homes and then there will be pools and amenities and, and that sort of thing. And that's one of those things we just haven't seen in a while. We're just, we're running out of places to put them. So definitely a shortage on land, a shortage of um, homes available. And when you start talking to builders, they're telling us that they are limited how much material is out there. So if they can't get gutters, windows, and garage doors, they can't finish the house. <laughs> so, so they are limiting the number of buyers they are accepting at one time. And this varies from community to community. I had one builder tell me they have a brand new community opening up in Coleraine. They have 180 families interested now doesn't mean they're gonna buy but 180 people he had to reach out to that have expressed interest in this community and they have 12 spots 12 that they can actually sell so the first 12 people that get there are gonna get those those lots and if you don't like those lots then you have to wait for the next um, section to open up or the next you know, group of lots they're going to have available. In other areas, we're being told they can sell five per month. So if you're, you know, number six through 10, you're gonna go on to the next month. And then that means if you walk in in February and those slots are already full, well now you have to move to March. So that just puts that timeline further and further down the road. So again, it has to line up with your timeline as well as the fact that new construction is at an all time high price wise right now. They have had so many price increases over the last two years that, I, I mean, those prices are just super high. So for a lot of my clients, they would like new construction, but if they can find a resale that will work for them, that's available, you know, within a couple of months instead of six, eight, 10 months or more, they're gonna go ahead and get that new, that resale. And this is just very similar to the car market right now. New cars have not been able to get off the lot. They can't sell them because of a shortage of chips and used car prices have gone through the roof. Same concept. I hope that helps you guys understand a little bit more about what is happening in the housing market. And again, I don't believe that it 
is going to mean that we're gonna, you know, everything's gonna fall apart. I do think that as materials become more readily available in new construction and that new construction piece starts to catch up a little bit, it will bring down the price of resale homes. All right, if you have questions, remember to make a comment below, give me a call, send me an email, and we would love to talk to you and help you find where you belong in Cincinnati, Dayton, or around the world. See you next month.